have now a couple of questions we would really want brief answers because we are running out of time uh, so can we have the slide for question and answers please so our first question is ma'am which has come from the audience employability factor is a matter of concern what can be done for such children because we have five more questions and we have only five minutes to go so if you know you could just throw some light and then people can contact you well for employability you have to prepare the students uh, according to their ability to be able to get a job now skilling is very important and vocational education is necessary of course the new education policy will come into place a year or two from now but already i think these uh, children i won't call them children because they can i mean at 18 they are ready enough to be able to uh, go to the marketplace but there are simple things that they can do uh, they can learn they can do uh, we are doing uh, you know paper making we are doing envelope making we are doing pottery uh, we are doing uh, a lot of computer work sublimation textile designing and are able to give jobs at least every year to about 10 pass outs they are respected wow. where they go we go with them and we train the particular organization or the you know marketplace and you will be so happy to know that it is not difficult people are empathetic we don't want pity but we want understanding so the whole society needs to understand the second question is can we empower our regular teachers to handle special needs children in regular classrooms yes i am speaking from example i mean my own example my own experience in dps every teacher with the kind of student she had actually could um manage them we had a resource center so the special ed could be done there but other things like uh, you know going to the assembly going for games if those are not physically disabled music art etc was possible handling the special needs is actually teaching them to handle themselves and you've just seen tamanna what she was and what she is now she used to drool gallons she had a squint but parental uh, you know um cooperation teachers cooperation but above all the principal's uh, decision to have an inclusive school and the their uh, managing committee's uh, willingness to accept them is the key issue the third one is how to make inclusion an invisible pro process a normal thing well this is happening and it will happen in our country also as soon as this merging takes place 50 years ago when i took the mana for admission to any school they would say oh my god we don't have place for regular children how do you expect her to be here she will be in here she'll be her she will not be able to look after herself no it doesn't happen you can have a buddies program you can allow some of the parents to accompany them there can be so many other factors you won't believe it but when they come to school they are actually teaching other children to have empathy for them the manas first student 20 years ago is earning so well now that he is actually contributing to the cause of the mana our institutions wow. here and similarly we recently last uh, summer i went to america and we put it on her facebook that she's coming believe it or not in the region of san francisco they all had meets for her they welcomed her and they said ma'am once we understood tamanna when we were four we understood all the tamannas of the world because that early introduction to somebody who's different somebody who's uh, a little uh, you know uh, with more needs the little ones come to her rescue even in her present job and they said chunam uh tamana ma'am what can we do for you should we open your you know if she's not able to open the box lunch box i mean she's surrounded because she is pure love 
the last question is uh, no sorry is the will to teach special children enough or is qualification a training qualification is a must by qualification i don't mean special ed b ed i mean on the job uh, teachers should be taken to special schools they should be exposed to what is happening they in the b ed courses they must be enough for them to be able to understand what these children are all about i mean they may have certain disabilities but they're not all fully uh, the kind that you imagine they have a great jise hindi mein kshamta kehte hain desire hai it they even want to hold your hand they are deprived from human touch we ignore them the good old days they would even be hidden under the beds or uh, put in the cupboards if a suitor uh, some a, a suitor was coming to see a daughter in that family in fact people will not disclose that we have a you know a disabled child because marriage may become an issue there i have some of my students who got married and they're leading happy lives and they're doing so well it's all because of the societal backup support the next question is how do we help parents in the journey towards accepting children with special needs to ensure that the right support is provided to children at the right time this is the most important uh, question very very uh, significant and uh, it needs our attention the parents are the worst hit in the first place acceptance of a child born with a difference is a huge huge difficulty i have gone through it till i told myself stop crying and stop grieving you have a job to do therefore we are doing a lot of parental counseling there are lots and lots of counselors who by choice want to come into this field and do the counseling for the parents anybody needs our counseling our therapeutic intervention our special education is to do the ieps i offer my services i offer the services of tamanna we have three special schools in vasant vihar we are helping people to set up special schools because the special school is for the more uh, you know acute cases but within the schools if you have a resource centers please we'll be more than happy to do anything for you there is a lot of uh, acceptance to be created there's a lot of desire to be created there's a lot of uh, you know the will to help these children and the formula of nurse nature and nurture will help i can assure you our experiences have been very positive i have learned to um accept the shortcomings of these children uh, in a way and appreciate that if i have shortcomings so will everybody else have and none of us are perfect therefore my dear friends this morning i've had this opportunity to share with you my experiences and bring forth tamanna who's authored this book i am tamanna which is worth reading where you will understand the challenges and the help that the mother or the father get in this not only the family but the community the schools the colleges uh, the media we all have to come together to give that kind of a positioning to those uh, members of our society who may not have it all but they will have something more which you and i don't have which is love which is purity and which is they have no discrimination at all the manna does not know the difference between a prince and a pauper she does not the does not know the difference between gold and copper and can you imagine my state when i have to teach discrimination to her and tell her that this one has to be treated differently because our society our culture is the way it is where there is a class divide so we have to break it for the sake of these children and i'm sure very soon some of them will be sitting in the parliament